every security has flaws. No matter how secure we are, it is actually important to be more skillful in protecting our computer system. If you don't care about doing what is appropriate, always remember that our computer system is our responsibility. So in this video, I want to show you a security procedure that you shouldn't miss. Welcome back everyone, I'm Jeffrey Antonio Diaz and you're watching the significance of old school technology. Administrative Tools is a folder in Control Panel that contains tools for system administrators and advanced users. The tools in the folder might vary depending on which version of Windows you are using. Many of the tools in this folder, such as Computer Management or Microsoft Management Console snapshots that include their own help topics. To view a specific help for an MMC tool or to search for an MMC snap-in that you don't see in the following list, open the tool, click the help menu, and then click help topics. So in this activity, we are about to use the power of the group policy object editor. But before we start, let's talk about the following definitions. Microsoft Management Console or commonly known as MMC is a host administrative tools that you can use to administer networks, computers, services, and other system components. Snap-ins is a tool or set of tools that can be added to the Microsoft Management Console to help manage a computer. Group Policy is an administrative tool for managing user settings and computer settings across a network. To start this method, we are going to use Windows PowerShell. Launch Microsoft Management Console and select Group Policy Object Editor as chosen snap-ins. Or you can also use the direct command by typing gpedit.msc and then hit enter key. In this method, we will use run dialog box. Launch Microsoft Management Console and select Group Policy Object Editor as chosen snap ins. Or you can also use the direct command by typing gpedit.msc and then press enter key. Although there are other ways to open Group Policy Object Editor, however, these are the most commonly used methods. 
To proceed with this activity, let us first adjust the amount of bandwidth that the system can reserve. In this portion, we will disable and enable by use of Task Manager. As you can see, the task manager is now disabled. Let's try to enable the application. Now, the task manager is enabled. In this part, we're going to disable and enable some of the most popular applications used by some computer scientists and information technologies. Okay, so let's start the process by using one of the most popular command interpreter. We can also use this application to add an extra layer of security to our system, most especially in our previous video, Registry Fundamentals. So let's try to disable and enable the registry editing tools. In this portion, we are about to disallow the use of a specific application. One of them is Windows PowerShell.
Now that we learned some of the most popular techniques used in certain multinational companies, I hope that my channel helps you further to develop your knowledge. That's all for now. Thank you for joining our session today. May God bless us and always stay safe. See you next time here on the Significance of Old School Technology.